Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Yeah, I, I know. I agree. I, and I really like Kentucky, but they've they kind of petered off a little bit. I, I went through, I, I made the mistake of, uh, I decided to try to do this like X's and O's breakdown. I'm going to figure, I'm going to be the one to solve uh, Kentucky's defensive issues. I'm going to give you the answer on how to fix the problems that is the defensive side of the ball for Kentucky basketball. What'd and, you come up with? Well, so I went on Synergy and I downloaded their last 500 defensive possessions, right? And I'm like, this is it. I'm going to get through this entire thing and I'm going to have an answer for everybody. I'm going to show how smart I am. And I got through uh, about uh, a third of the way through the second half of the Tennessee game. I was like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> they are so bad. There's the the lack of effort, the lack of discipline, the lack of communication. Um, the, They're scoring 100 points a game. I know, and, and they need to because they're giving up 103 to uh, to Tennessee, and they're giving up 96 to Georgia, and they're giving up 94 to Florida. Like, Tio, there are times where you you'll you'll watch a defensive possession, and someone will run a ball screen, and you won't be able to figure out what ball screen coverage they're trying to run. Right, like there's a lot of teams that that aren't very good at defending ball screens, but you can see what they're trying to do. But when you have Robert Dillingham trying to ice a ball screen on the side, and Aaron Bradshaw trying to hedge the ball screen on the same side. Yeah, you guys are basically just, standing right behind each other straight line. Just, just like, Zika, go ahead. Go make a layup, man. This, hey, that, that's a lot. That, look, the catalyst for any defense is your five man. Yes. And when you have two of your three five men didn't play until late. Well, actually, all three of their five men didn't play until mm -hmm. later. Trey Mitchell's never been a defensive guy. He's been he's not, really he's good. not a five. Like, he's just – he's Yeah, he's he, four, but, he, but he was forced to play it at the beginning yeah. of the year. Um, like all three of their fives didn't start the season. <laughs> like, like if, when your defensive catalyst is your five position, like that's that's pretty significant because terminology is huge. When you go from being on the scout team to being, you, you know, the captain of a defense, like you have to know every coverage. And two of them are freshmen. One's in a second language and didn't get eligible until a couple of games ago. Uh, on Yesu's young still, and then Bradshaw, like. He was hurt, so he couldn't get those quality reps until later. I, I don't know that they're ever going to be uh, a great, a, a great defensive team this year. It's just not going to happen. They're going to have to outscore teams, but uh, they can do that. They yeah, can do they, that. You can make up for some of that if you have guards that can really get out and pressure, right? Like it, it, it can. I can tell myself a story where if you have guard playing yes with the five, you have guards are going to pressure, force people to drive, and he just cleans up everything at the rim. I think that you can be a pretty good defense doing that. The problem is their guards don't really know how to guard either. Robert Dillingham is, is it's it's actually hilarious watching him try to defend. Reed Shepard, I mean, trying to get try, trying to get Rob. You know, Rob's going to have to learn, you know, how to use his quickness on the defensive end to get around some of these ball screens too. Like that's going to be a like you you think you're being picked on right now? Wait till the next level where people are starting to generate buzz to where he could get drafted. Like you're going to have to get around ball screens, cowboy. Like there's no. There's no like, you know, I'll get it back on the other end. There's like five people in the world who can do that. Like yeah, Luca. He, like <laughs> the anyway. big thing with him is I think he needs to uh he's one of those guys where you say he's got to eat a sandwich, right? Like he's got to get in the weight room. He's just so small. I just and, don't know that he's ever gonna get bigger. Yeah, like I don't know. And I think if he does, it kind of takes away a little bit of what makes him so good offensively. Right. Like, so quick. Um Reed Shepard is the one where kind of diving into the tape is he I was a little disappointed in what he I thought he was better defensively than he is he's really good on the ball he could jump passing lanes great anticipation lost in help side defense doesn't know where he needs to be doesn't quite understand the switching concepts that they try to run uh I think he'll get there um because if you're able to understand the game at the level he does when it comes to anticipating where the next pass is going to be and jumping passing lanes and all that uh, you're smart enough to be able to figure out how to uh, rotate and where to be in help side and all that. He just hasn't. He, he looks like someone that needs to continue to be coached up. You know what he looks like? Big news, guys. I am thrilled to announce that we have partnered with Autograph, a company founded by the GOAT himself, Tom Brady. The Autograph fandom app gives you access to the best college hoops content, fan contests, and exclusive rewards like discounted tickets, all for doing the things that diehard fans like you already do following your favorite team in the news and listening to podcasts just like this one. When Tom, and yes, I am calling him Tom, we're on a first name basis these days, 
co-founded Autograph, he had one mission in mind, change the fan experience for the better. It works like this. You get all of your college hoops content you want in one place. You get articles from your favorite writers, pods from your favorite hosts, contests from your favorite creators, all on the feeds and the sites that you already enjoy. But instead of having to go to all these different places, it all comes to you in one spot, the Autograph fandom app. But here's the best part. The more content that you consume, the higher you rank in the app. As you consider the level up in status on the app, you can unlock unique rewards curated exclusively for you. So download the free autograph app in the app store and use the referral code F68, that's F68, or tap in at the link in the description below or in the podcast app of your choosing to start earning points for doing something as normal as listening to this very podcast. It really is that simple. A freshman. Yeah. It, it, full train. Like, here's the thing, too. I haven't completely jumped into watching their defensive clips, <laughs> but don't, like, don't these are it. very, these are very freshman mistakes. Yes. Like, but the fact that he's averaging over two steals a game, like, the awareness is there. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, you know, and who knows what their real scheme is trying to be, right? Like, what are they really trying to do? That's why they're susceptible. I, and, and we I'm don't know what they're trying to do in ball screens, T.O. We have no idea what they're trying to do in ball screens. Well, no, I haven't watched, so I, I'm not trying to throw shade anywhere. I just haven't watched, so like it depends on like shade. what they're trying to do too. Like, is it is it Reed's fault? Is it the five man's fault? Is it lack of communication everywhere? Like, yes, it, it's, it's, a, in, it's it's the last yeah. one. It's the last yeah, one. Yeah, okay. Get you. A lack of communication. It is a uh, a new team. It is freshmen being freshmen. It is all of those things, and uh, it is not an easy watch. And to me. I've kind of come to the point where I don't – without a drastic improvement defensively, I, don't, I just don't see how they end up beating a good team. Like, they're projected as a six seed and are fielding the 68 bracket right now. You know who they play in the first round of the tournament right now, according to yeah. our bracket project, projection? Virginia. That okay. would not be good. That would not be good. You know who that they would not be they good. find a way to beat Virginia, you know who they would play most likely in the second round, according to our bracket projection? Baylor. Baylor would carve them Baylor might maybe. put up 150 points. Maybe. Maybe. I will say this. Kentucky, Kentucky can beat Baylor. You know why? <laughs> because why? Baylor, Baylor doesn't guard either. So it's exactly. going to be whose guards make more make more shots in Kentucky. Yeah, and I would and I would I would bet on Kentucky. As you guys know by now, we've partnered with BetMGM this season. We'll be using BetMGM lines to make all of our picks, and we'll have special offers for the listeners and the viewers of the Field of 68 each and every week of the college basketball season. We have a special offer that will be available starting on Tuesday, January 9th, and running through Monday, February 12th, the morning after Super Bowl 58. If you haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, in honor of the big game, you can use the bonus code FIELD158 and you'll get $158 in free bets on your first wager with BetMGM, regardless of whether or not you win that first bet. Here's how you make it work. Download the BetMGM app. Sign up using the bonus code FIELD158. Deposit at least $5 and place your first wager on any game. You'll receive $158 in bonus bets regardless of the outcome of your bet. Just make sure that you use that bonus code FIELD158 when you sign up. And remember, BetMGM is now available under one wallet in select states. As a New Jersey resident, this is super convenient when I have to go cover games in New York or Philly, which happens quite a bit. When you cross state borders, you just log into your existing account and fire away. You don't have to create separate accounts in each state. It's easy, it's simple, it's clean. And most importantly, we have some fun stuff coming up for the heart of the college basketball season. Bet insurance tokens, college hoops, odd boosts, and my favorite, a nice juicy parlay boost. So download the BetMGM app and sign up today. Field 1-5. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, Hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field 68 content.